Columbus State Community College is in the midst of transformation from rapid growth in a new campus to state requested semester conversion and a new president. Positive changes are underway to help the institution meet the needs of students and the community. And Columbus State's commitment to continuous quality improvement has eased these transitions. Like most community colleges, Columbus State experienced significant growth in recent years. The nearly 30,000 students today represent an increase of more than one-third over a short three-year span. Just as the students began arriving in ever larger numbers, the state of Ohio encouraged all colleges and universities still on the 10-week quarter system to switch to standard semesters by the end of 2012. As that comprehensive planning began, construction on a second campus was wrapping up. In 2010, the Delaware campus opened to the north of Columbus in the fastest growing county in the state. Days later, a new president arrived. Dr. David Harrison began in July of 2010 as just the fifth president of Columbus State, a college founded almost a half century earlier. While all of the changes have led to positive improvements, Dr. Harrison's arrival and his student success agenda have perhaps had the most immediate impact. One of his early efforts was to form deep partnerships with other colleges and universities. He and other educators recognized a need for a regional approach to increase student attainment. Columbus State led a series of regional summits beginning in 2011 to bring everyone to one table. I've been enough different places to know that this convergence of K-12 and higher ed uh, and, and statewide leaders doesn't happen everywhere. So I think we've got a real opportunity to, um, uh, to work with students, families, school districts, higher ed in a way that may be unsurpassed in the country. Feedback from participating colleges, universities, K-12 school districts, and business leaders was overwhelmingly positive. I think the turnout's terrific, and I think it points to how eager uh, people in, in all sectors are to, uh, to uh, take this challenge and to meet it head on and to work together. I commend David Harrison for his leadership, for his vision in bringing together uh, people representing all of the sectors and for creating the energy and the momentum that we feel today. The summits, which will continue, led to the creation of the Central Ohio Compact. It's a regional strategy designed to have 60% of Central Ohioans holding a post-secondary degree by 2025. Dr. Harrison also expanded direct partnerships with other institutions. Columbus State and The Ohio State University collaborated on the Preferred Pathway Program. Launched in 2011, the program guarantees admission to OSU for Columbus State graduates. The program requires a four-year degree plan and provides integrated orientation and advising services for both institutions. It's more planned out, I think, if I was just doing it by myself. So um, I learned that I can get to Ohio State by the end of this whole year if I push myself instead of two years. An additional partnership with a K-12 district solidifies the commitment of the college aiming for student success. In this case, even before they arrive, the Columbus Prep Math Program began in 2011. At Reynoldsburg High School, three classes of seniors whose math skills were not college ready work at their own pace in modules aligned with Columbus State curriculum. It's sort of an online course, but it's in a classroom with an instructor. When students finish at the end of the year, the program is designed to have them ready for college level math at Columbus State or any other institution at which they choose to apply. We're trying to help the students so that they don't have to spend their financial aid dollars in so many uh, developmental courses that don't count into their major or their course of study. And we know that if students have to take a lot of developmental courses, they tend to become frustrated and, and many won't persist. And we want these students to be successful. While that's one example of continuous quality improvements at Columbus State, another is the career assistance to help undecided students. In 2009, undeclared students in a cohort were required to meet with an advisor and discuss a major before they could register. Of these students, the ones who declared a major had more success. Specifically, declared students had an 85% course completion rate compared to 79% for undeclared students. Even more impressive was the retention rate. After one school year, the retention rate was 71% for declared students 
compared to just 14 for those undeclared. What the intrusive intervention is designed to do is to uh, reach out to those students so that we can help them provide resources uh, that are available in terms of major and career exploration. Um, we'll have them take assessments. Considering national research shows that students who have declared a major succeed at a higher rate than students who have not, this program has clearly made a difference in a short time. Looking to the future, Dr. Harrison created the Office of Institutional Effectiveness in July 2012. It's designed to ensure that timely, accurate, and relevant data are available to guide decision making. He's also implemented a new master planning process and a strategic planning process in order to align with the community and regional initiatives. What's more, the college joined the Achieving the Dream institution, setting the stage for an integrated, data-driven approach to student success and credential attainment. With a focus on access and college readiness, student success and attainment, and workforce development and economic impact, the college will develop a new mission, vision values, and goals for college-wide review and approval by the Board of Trustees.